Here now is House Minority Whip Steve Scalise, New Orleans. Congressman, what is the leadership's response to the Democrat drumbeat that built up over the last few weeks, but you really felt it today? Well, Laura, this has been their plan all along. They've been pushing for impeachment since the day they won the majority. Many of them couldn't hide it. Nadler was bragging about it. You saw uh, others in their own leadership on the Democrat side saying this was what they were going to make uh, their two-year majority about. Frankly, this isn't what the American people elected them to do. So I think there's going to be a heavy price for Democrats who go down this path. But they've been planning this witch hunt. Uh, look, they spent two years and over $30 million of taxpayer money lying, saying that there was proof of obstruction, that there was proof of collusion. There was none of it. In fact, the only collusion that happened where there were people, officials at the Department of Justice, at the FBI, even in the Obama administration who were spying on the Trump campaign. And ultimately, when you look at some of the things that, uh, that happened, they had a partisan agenda within the FBI to take down this president before he was elected. Uh, people aren't going to stand for this. If they want to pursue this road, it's going to be, again, at the, the peril of their majority. Do you, do you uh, Congressman, think that the Senate Intel Committee, as others have said, should subpoena Mueller to testify before them? He say he pronounced he's not talking. Like, I mean, I don't know how he can say that, but he did pronounce that today, definitively. But should Republicans in the Senate not take that as, a, as, as gospel and, and subpoena him to testify? Well, Republicans in the Senate have been focused on doing their job, the job they were elected to do to keep this country moving forward, to get this country, uh, the economy back on track. Uh, the Democrats in the House have made it very clear they don't care about the economy. They don't care about the crisis at the border. Keep yeah. this in mind, Laura. The very committee that has jurisdiction over the crisis at the border that's real today, more than 4,000 people a day crossing our border illegally, that's the committee that's chaired by Jerry Nadler that's focused on this witch hunt, on uh, focusing down, down rat holes to try to impeach the president, even when there's no proof All right, just and when a, there was no collusion. All right, I want a five-second answer, okay? Do the Democrats think impeachment is their only chance of beating Trump now? No, but it's the only way that they can appease their radical left base. Ah, okay, because Alan Lickman's out there saying that that might be the only way they can win because he might be projecting Trump wins in 2020. This is a Hail Mary. Congressman, thank you for joining us tonight.